Hello, welcome, Hawkeyes. I'm Mitch Winterlin. I'm your student body president through undergraduate student government. Woo, thank you, a few fans. OK, OK. Um, I just am here to give a few quick announcements. We're trying to be as brief as possible today. Um, first, I just want to say uh, it is an honor to speak with you. I'm very honored to be in front of you all. I came in the fall of 2020, which was around a lot of unprecedented times. We didn't get to have this, so I'm so glad you get to be at your very first and only convocation ceremony. Um, for announcements, please be sure after everyone has given their remarks to follow the Iowa flags and take the TN Clary walkway to the president's block party, as well as make sure you're throwing away all your water bottles and cups and whatnot and the proper receptacles. Uh, just be green and be good to the Pentecrest for us. Um, overall, I just want to say uh, thank you, welcome, and it is my honor to welcome our Associate Provost for Undergraduate Education, Dr. Tanya uden -Holman. Welcome to the University of Iowa's 2023 Convocation. We are so excited to welcome the class of 2027 to our campus. I'm Tanya uden -Holman, and I'm the Associate Provost for Undergrad Education, as well as a proud UI graduate. Speaking today will be UI President Barbara Wilson, Executive Vice President and Provost Kevin Crago, Vice President of Student Life Sarah Hansen, and Harry Bui, Class of 2027. On behalf of the Office of the Provost, I want to welcome our first year and transfer students to Iowa City. We are so excited to have the class of 2027 as part of our Hawkeye family. I want to take this opportunity to thank the orientation services staff and over 1,000 University of Iowa staff, faculty, and student volunteers who make On Iowa such a great experience. Let's give them a big round of applause. The purpose of convocation is to welcome new students to campus. It's an occasion for us to come together as a Hawkeye family and celebrate new beginnings. Because let me tell you, the next four years are gonna go by super quickly. As I thought about what I wanted to briefly share with you today, I turned to a favorite children's book, Winnie the Pooh. Even though it was written almost 100 years ago, the advice imparted by Pooh and his friends remains, in my opinion, pretty relevant today. So I have two brief quotes for you. The first is from Winnie the Pooh himself. Life is a journey to be experienced, not a problem to be solved. I hope you'll take time to enjoy your educational journey. College is a time of self-discovery and defining who you are and what's important to you. Even though Iowa is a big place, there are endless communities for you to be a part of, and I hope you find your community here. And from Christopher Robin, this very important reminder. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Although at times you may have self-doubt and wonder, can I really do this? Please know you are not alone. We are all here for you. You belong here. Your success is important to us. And I'm so excited to see all of the contributions that you, the class of 2027, will make to our Hawkeye family. Let's give you all a round of applause. We're so excited to have you here. It's now my great pleasure to introduce the 22nd president of the University of Iowa, Barbara Wilson. Woo! Go Hawks! You are the hearty ones that have stayed with us and you're sitting here for convocation, so thank you. I hope that you're gonna uh, be excited about the food that we have down the street for you after this is over. I, yeah, go Hawks, good food. I'm so excited that you're all here and you're part of what is gonna be a great year at the University of Iowa. This is a place that you will quickly grow to call home and that's what our goal is, that you're gonna feel like this is the best place you could be and you're gonna find answers to all the questions that you have. Um, I, I wanna tell you just briefly about what I consider to be the secret sauce here at the University of Iowa. This is my third year here as president, so I'm about to start my junior year 
and uh, I say no grades, just pass fail. Uh, but my three, my my secret sauce is three C's. You've joined a university that's comprehensively excellent. We are excellent across disciplines, from nonfiction writing to neuroscience to nursing and everything in between. And in addition to that, so comprehensive excellence, creativity. I swear everybody here is writing a book in this community. But everybody's creative. People are creative in the labs, they're creative in the performing arts, and you're gonna learn that creativity. You're gonna help create solutions to the future. And last but not least, community. This is a place where everybody loves University of Iowa, the community and the relations we have with the town of the city of Iowa City, Coralville, North Liberty, everybody loves Hawkeyes. So you're going to feel that sense of community. Now I have two pieces of advice and then I'm going to be quiet and let you hear our great student speaker. All right, two pieces of advice. My first one is ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help no matter what. And every question you have is a smart question. When I was a freshman, many, many years ago, I was afraid to ask for help. I was 17 years old, I came from a small town, and I joined a very big Big Ten campus, not this one, we'll, we won't talk about which one it was, and I was so afraid to ask for any help that for a week I couldn't figure out how to get my meal tickets so I could go and eat in the student commons. So I ate at McDonald's for a week. Okay, just imagine that. Finally, I called my mom at one point and she said, you gotta go to the front desk and ask someone because we paid for your meal plan. And so finally, after a week, I sheepishly went to the front desk and acknowledged that I didn't know how to get into the food service area. And the person looked at me like I was nuts, but I finally got my meal tickets. That was a big fail, okay? Big F for me. So don't do that. Make sure you ask for help. No question is stupid. No question is bizarre. Please ask for help. And my second piece of advice you're gonna meet a lot of people here, people who are different from you. Spend time this year making friends with someone from a completely different background than you are. If, it's, if you're from Chicago, find a friend from rural Iowa. If you have a strong religious belief, find someone with a different religious belief and get to know them. Make a friend who comes from a different background and then spend time getting to know who they are and what makes them happy and what they're concerned about. So ask for help, find a friend who's different from you and really get to know them. All right, you all, that's the end of my comments today. I'm gonna say on Iowa, go Hawks on the count of three and I want you to join me because I know you're hot. So keep, keep yelling because that'll help you. One, two, three, go Hawks. Let's try that again. One, two, three, go Hawks! All right, that was much better. All right, it is my sincere delight to introduce to you our student speaker today. Harry Bowie is coming to you as one of your fellow students, and he's a little nervous, but he's gonna do a great job. Harry comes from Sioux City, Iowa. He's majoring in biology and education, and he's one of your fellow classmates. So please give it up for Harry. Harry? All right. Um, hey, uh, class of 2027. I stand before you today with immense excitement and gratitude for this incredible opportunity. My name is Harry Bowie, and I'm coming in as a biology and education major on the pre-med track. I first want to say how each one of us has a story that led us here, and it's through the celebration of our diverse backgrounds and unique experiences that we can create an inclusive and supportive campus for ourselves and everyone surrounding it. Today, I wanted to address three main takeaways embracing individuality, embracing diversity, and taking opportunities. In my journey through high school, I encountered various cliques and social norms, and I understand how it can be tempting to conform to fit in. However, I believe that each one of us should embrace our individuality and celebrate what makes us different. By just being ourselves, we can create an environment that, encour that encourages growth, mutual respect, and acceptance. This is a chance to build lasting friendships with peers who share our interests, aspirations, and values. One of the most exciting aspects of being here is the opportunity to meet new people who share similar interests. Whether it's in the classroom, at student organizations, or through various activities, we're all part of this diverse and dynamic community. Embrace these interactions with open minds and open hearts, and you'll find that you'll not only 
enrich your university experience, but also gain invaluable perspectives and lifelong friendships. The University of Iowa has an array of outstanding programs that cater to a wide range of passions and interests. As we embark on this educational journey, let's take the time to explore all the fantastic opportunities this university has to offer. Whether it's in the academics, arts, sports, or other student organizations, this is the time to try new things, push our boundaries, and discover new passions that will shape our futures. It is through these experiences that we learn more about ourselves, our strengths, our passions, and our purpose in life. As we step into this new chapter of our lives, let us embrace our individuality, celebrate our diverse community, and seize every moment to grow, learn, and thrive. Let us make the most of our time here at Iowa. I'm eager to witness each one of you flourish as you discover your passions, refine your talents, and make lasting memories. Together, let's create a vibrant, supportive, and inspiring community that exemplifies the spirit of the University of Iowa. Thank you, and I look forward to celebrating our successes and growth as we embark on this unforgettable journey together. Gil Hawks. Thank you so much, Harry. Now I'm very pleased to introduce Vice President for Student Life, Sarah Hansen. Hey, Hawkeyes. Thanks for sticking it out with us. I can't wait to see that block eye photo. You're already a few days into what will surely be some of the most transformative years of your life. I actually met my husband here at the University of Iowa, and we've been married 36 years. We met in Dom Hall, but it was before it was for smart kids. So it was just us. Um, but you're going to meet a lot of people who are going to be on your team as well as find places that are going to feel like home to you. You can explore your passions here, as Harry said. Go to events, check out student orgs, do things that maybe make you a little bit uncomfortable. You can try things and decide they're not for you. And you can fail. I know I did. I actually probably could have been a classmate of President Wilson. Uh, in fact, I often think that students that are sitting there where you are think that those of us up here have it all figured out. But I can tell you that we all started exactly where you are. And we all made mistakes along the way. My path from there to here was anything but easy or straight. Don't tell anyone this, but I actually flunked out of the University of Iowa after my sophomore year. My failure was hard but I'm really glad that it happened in some ways. And I tell you about it because I want you to know that it truly is okay to say you're having a hard time. Exactly like President Wilson, I was ashamed to not know something and I didn't ask for help. It's important that you know that you really are surrounded on this campus by people who will help you. You're not bothering us by asking us for help. You're allowing us to do the work that we're passionate about. We already know college can be hard. Your questions are not gonna surprise us. Your professors, RAs, and everyone else here, including each other, your peers, will help you. Together, we're all gonna get you from where you are right now to your future as a successful graduate of the University of Iowa. It's now my pleasure to introduce an Iowa tradition, the singing of Alma Mater, Iowa. Iowa alum Gene Mills, College of Engineering, first composed the melody to this song in 1943 while heading off to serve in World War II. You'll hear this song again at your commencement when you finish your time at this great university. Ooh. 
Thank you so much. The vocal quartet members singing alma mater today were Maddie Yunko, soprano, Caitlin Peterson, alto, Nathan Brown, tenor, and Ethan Elsburn, bass. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce Executive Vice President and Provost Kevin Craigle. Good afternoon and welcome, new Hawkeyes. We're at the home stretch here, so hang in a couple more minutes. We'll be wrapping it up. At this point in the program, it really is my honor, as the university's chief academic officer, to preside over a brief ceremony that marks the moment that you formally join us as University of Iowa students. This ceremony marks what's the beginning of your academic life at the University of Iowa, as you become members of a community of scholars that stretches back to the university's founding as our state's flagship university in 1847. A little bit of quick arithmetic, and that's 167 years ago that this university was initiated. As a member of the Hawkeye family, you're going to have access to tremendous opportunities. If you dedicate yourselves to making the most of these opportunities, I'm confident your time here will transform your lives. Now, please open your impromptu fans, which are actually envelopes. Open them up. Not a gift card, it's a tassel, okay? So th this tassel represents a, a pledge from you to the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the University of Iowa that you will strive to reach your academic goals. This tassel also represents our pledge to you that we, the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the University of Iowa are going to provide an environment of academic challenge and academic support in which you can both succeed and thrive. There's also a reminder that this campus is full of people who care about you, believe in you, and are here to help you achieve your goals. Let this tassel serve as a reminder every day of why you're at the University of Iowa and what a special part of this university you are. In four short years, and believe me, it will go faster than you can imagine, you will again hold a tassel like this one. And it's going to be one where you join your classmates in a graduation ceremony. I look forward to that day, and I will be very proud to congratulate all of you on your outstanding accomplishments. And now, it is my pleasure to invite President Wilson back to the podium. All right, you all, you all get an A plus on convocation, all right? We are so excited that you hung in there. Everybody, stand up, head down the street to the president's house for the best food you're going to have this week. Go Hawks!